if you're not interested in the glory or breakthrough, just watch the CVP video. It's a thousand times better. Um, I'll just go through them one by one. First, Revolva. Uh, by far is the best build quality. It has the locking EF mount, uh, very little play on the back. Also, the least color shift, almost none. Uh, no polarization issues. And it's the best. It has a little bit more vignetting than the other adapters. And they all vignette though. So it's a problem on the Raptor specifically because the sensor is so big. So it's something you have to deal with. And anyways, most of my lenses vignette on the Raptor as well. There's absolutely no comparison between the VNDs, which I found to be all more or less similar compared to having a solid ND. Uh, there's no voodoo magic with any of these VNDs. Um, so moving on. The Kolari has the best adapter. I like it because it has this grippy little ring that makes it easier to hold while I pull stuff in and out. Um, and it also has the most reassuring click and locking mechanism of the adapters. So it stays in place, it's very firm, no play. Uh, much better than the Meiki and Canon for that. The Meiki and Canon adapters are interesting because they are literally identical. They look the same, they say the same things. Make it as a red rubber seal, Canon as a black rubber seal. That's about the only difference. The logo is in the same place, um, words in the same place, the screw holes are in the same place. There are holes that aren't even being used on the Canon that are in the same place in the Meike. The rear is identical. And there's even more similarities when it comes to the filters that I'll go through right now. So the filters. I'll start with the Canon. The Canon is definitely the most misunderstood because it's supposed to be one and a half to nine stops, which also is identical on the Meike. The Kalari goes up to 10, the Breakthrough goes up to 11. But in reality, the Canon and the Kalari are the darkest, followed by the Breakthrough and the Meiki is nowhere near close. Uh, so the Canon definitely doesn't stop at nine stops and that's what, that's why it's misunderstood because all the problems start happening around eight to nine stops. Um, otherwise, it's right on par with the rest, uh, sometimes even better. It's definitely misunderstood and if you don't need to push it more than eight to nine stops, I wouldn't be worried because, well, I live on the equator and I sh if shooting T one and a half outside in the middle of the day, I still don't hit that. So, um, you know, I think it's a very, fringe use case scenario where you run into the problems with the Canon. But yeah, all four of these polarize, all four of them have color shifting to similar degrees. They're all very consistent across the range that at least that they're made for. I think the Meike is actually less than nine stops, but let me go through the build quality of the filters now. The Meike and the Canon are literally identical. They both have three gears here that look exactly the same, the same screws, the same pushing mechanism levers, the same fonts, the same plus or minus. The wording is literally identical. So let me get that. All right, they both say max, and then they both have three dots, uh, and then they both have a line, and then they both say mid. They both have a line, and then they both say min. Literally identical, and I think what Meiki did was maybe they just took the Canon and made it stop at eight stops or something to prevent the issues that were happening and the use shittier glass and no R&D and so they can make a cheaper product. Kalari and Breakthrough have their own design. Uh, I do like the Kalari. It's darker than the Breakthrough and it also has the same similar amount of consistency. But pure build quality wise, Breakthrough is by far the best. It has zero play on this. Uh, if you turn it, it stays. It's very solid and smooth. The Kalari is, is also good but not as good. Whereas the Meiki and the Canon both, like it's so easy to just knock it out of place accidentally. Uh, so yeah, I think if you have the Canon already, I really don't see there's a need to get any of the others. Maybe the Breakthrough or Kalari if you need to go up to like the 10, 11 stops. You know, otherwise I think they're all quite similar. They're not significantly better than each other in a lot of ways. 